this is how Zoom should start on your machine. If you only see one or two faces, then select Gallery View, top right. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see at least some of these icons. Don't worry if some are missing, it just means you are not the person in charge of the call. We'll look at the key ones in turn. The mute button allows you to turn your microphone on or off. This is helpful to do when you are not speaking, as too much noise from others in the call can be distracting. The video button allows you to turn your camera on or off. The chevron opens other options linked to your camera, including the option to add virtual backgrounds like the one the woman bottom right has. It's probably best not to do this while your meeting is running. It's quite off-putting for others. The chat button opens an extra section to the right of your screen. This allows you to send text messages to other members of the group or to everyone. Be very careful you know who you are sending to before you press send. The participants button, like chat, opens a section to the right of your screen. This shows all the people in the current meeting. It also shows who is muted and allows you to raise a hand. Raising a hand alerts the person leading the meeting that you want to speak and is more discreet than waving frantically at your camera. The other button you have is the reactions button. If you press this, you get the choice of two icons, a hand clap and a thumbs up. Whichever you choose will appear in your frame for everyone to see. You can learn more about how to use Zoom in the resources section of their website. Just go to zoom.us.